So let's go ahead and take this one apart and start installing it. So now install the first subset in your jumper holding tool. Make sure you tighten the jumper holding tool so that you can hold the orientation of the splice shunt. Note that we have a color mark on this side. I want to adjust it such that when I install it, it lays on the conductor so it will wrap over top of the existing uh, splice. So now you take it, lay it into place. Make sure you center that cabled section on the existing splice. Set it such that the crossover mark lays down on the conductor. At this point then, you can start rolling the legs onto the conductor. And once you get a pitch to two pitches installed, take your jumper holding tool off the splice shunt because it's not going to go anywhere. Come out onto the conductor on the splice, tighten it down, and now you can hold the conductor and the configuration and ensure that all rod ends are snapped into place. Once you get the, the first leg installed, move to the second leg. You're going to wrap that cabled section around the splice. You'll need your jumper holding tool then to hold the leg in place while you move your, your shot, your applicator ring tool off. So as with the first subset, bring it up, phase in your, phase in your color mark, okay. hold it, and then wrap the first pitch on. And once it is secure, you're then able to remove your hold stick from that subset, move it out past Move it out to the uh, crossover mark and you can hold the conductor while you're wrapping that leg in place. Okay. Ensure that the rod ends on that second subset are properly snapped into place. Once you've got that leg of the second subset installed, move to the other end and as you did before, wrap the subset around the splice using the jumper holding tool so you can wrap that subset in then use the hold stick again to grab it at the crossover mark and it'll keep the conductor from rolling so it makes it easier to install the splice shunt And as always, make sure you snap in those rod ends. And that concludes the installation of the preformed splice shunt using hot sticks.